Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in today's video, I will show you how to create 3D map counter using 3D view in QGIS. Here in Alvin, um, after you select your area, you can click on this little icon here and then you can um, select this copy as bounding box. So it doesn't matter um, which area you select, you can still um, do that. And then after you do that, you can click on this bounding box. So now after you have your bounding box, you can um, change the size of the area that you want to um, analyze or generate the data from. And then you can also move um, your, your bounding box here. So here, I want to generate counter from um, this particular um, area. So I'm going to resize my bounding box. And then I'm going to select this area is on what I need here. So after I um, resize um, my bounding box and after I put it in place where I want to get the data from, I can go to browse and then I can type in elevation. And then click search. And then here, I can click on here and then I can find the elevation this thick map elevation metro counters one to five meter so here i can select all the attribute and then i can click add so after i add my counter data set here i can click on this little icon and download the data as shape file So here, after um, it downloads your shape file, you can um, open in your folder here, and then you can extract the file first. So here, um, here I can rename the folder. Um, I can rename them counter to faster. So after you have your counter shape file and after you download it as um, shape file, um, you can go to QGIS um, and then you can open your file in here. So go to your folder and then here um, I have renamed um, my counter um, folder. So I can click on that and then I can open the um, shape file folder and then here in the shape file um, data, I can drag to here and then here I have my counter. So if you can see here, the projection is not quite right. It looks like it's kind of like tilted. So to fix that, go to here and then here it's because this um, projection is the common project projection that Google have. Um, so in Australia, um, the, the right projection is GDA 94 zone 55. So if I change that to uh, my projection and I click OK, now you can see that the counter is now looking right from the top. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to create a raster file um, out of my counter. So Rustle file is essentially um, a picture of a picture version of these um, counters. So it has pixels and from that you can then look at the map from um, 3D view. So to do that, um, I'm going to go to and then I'm going to select um, conversion and then I'll select rasterize factor to raster. So here, um, I'm inputting the same layer as my counter. And then here, choose the altitude. So this is the field of what the raster file is going to be generated from. So I'm going to choose altitude, 
to show the altitude of my counter. So the next thing is, I'm going to go to the pixels. And then here you can um, put in the width and height based on what you need. So for me, I'm going to select 200. And then um, here in the output extent, so this is basically just um, the extent of um, what the raster file is going to be. So I'm going to choose um, my layer as the extent of my um, raster file. And then here, you don't have to worry much about it. We can just leave it like that. And then after you set that, um, click Run. So here, as you can see, um, the raster file is created um, from the counter. So the next thing is um, we can we can go to um, properties. You can you can leave it like this, or you can go to properties and maybe change the color of your raster file. So I'm gonna choose um, palette unique values, and then I'm gonna choose. Here, I'm going to choose um, this one. And then here, if I click on classify, I can see the value of my of the altitude and all the colors. You can set up um, the colors by clicking here and then you can set up based on um, the gradient of the color uh, that you want. And then after that, I can click on apply. And then here, as you can see, um, the value is reflected back by all the colors. Here, you can see all the value and then, and then also you can see the colors. So if you, after you set that, um, you can go to view and then you can um, select new 3D map view. So here we have our 2D map view. You can click on settings and here you can choose for the elevation, you can choose the rasterized file that we just created. Um, after that, um, for the scale, maybe I can change it to 1.5. And then for the resolution here, um, you can um, choose uh, what whichever resolution you want. For me, I'll put in maybe 100. And then after that, you can click OK. So here, here we can see the difference. Um, if you click on your on the wheel of your mouse, you then will be able to um, um, to rotate your map, and then you can you can see the the height difference in your counter file. So you can see this in in 3D.